All right, so that was just a real quick dumb video of the other one when I was messing around with the LEDs and looking to where I'm going to put the uh, trans cooler. But basically, um, what kills an automatic transmission is heat. Heat's the killer of an auto tranny. And uh, you want to keep it running as cool as you can within reason, you know. I mean, I'm not saying you want to bypass everything and run your lines, you know, directly to a to a transmission cooler off of like a you know big giant diesel truck and put a fan on it and let it run non-stop and don't have any type of a you know temperature control to regulate the fan or anything that's not what i'm saying you don't want to run a transmission too cold but you certainly don't want it running uh hotter than it should be and i understand ford gm you know dodge toyota honda whatever any auto manufacturer i understand they have their their uh engineers and you know they come up with the transmission core that they deem acceptable but uh you know let's say you have a truck and you're going to be pulling a lot of hills towing you definitely want to make sure you have adequate transmission cooling, even for this Crown Vic. I'm not going to be towing anything with it, but, you know, it, it can get 100 degrees where I live. And, uh, you know, in the summer, and just from experience, I've always added a uh, auxiliary cooler to any automatic transmission vehicle I've had. And since I've done that, I've never, knock on wood, I've never had to... Um, you know get a automatic transmission rebuilt when i've done that i mean it also you know you also have to do your make your service on it you have to change your filter and your in your fluid as well which is a big part of it the fluid on this car isn't burnt it looks good i've got the service records i know when it was um service last they actually did a uh full you know, transmission, uh, what do they call it, fluid exchange at the Ford dealership. Uh, those are fine as long as you've, you're the, like the first owner of the vehicle or you have all the service records of the vehicle and you know it's been done at the recommended service intervals. Like, I'm just talking off my head here, so I don't take anything as gospel. But like these new automatic transmission in these vehicles, they say that the fluid is good for the life of the vehicle well who who's to say what the life of the vehicle is you know um i believe auto manufacturers you know expect a vehicle to last around 150,000 miles these days so how many vehicles out there do you know that has more than 150,000 miles on it this one does both my trucks do you know and they're still running great what what i'm saying is it's fine to follow all the auto manufacturers recommendations but when it comes to that automatic transmission fluid you should really change it out if they say it's lubed for life i'd be very cautious about that if you plan to keep the vehicle you know for over a hundred thousand miles for sure but anyways um i've got the service records on this one so i know it's been maintained and everything but um even even at this high mileage i'm going to go ahead and throw a cooler on there it's definitely going to benefit me and hopefully it should keep it going for you know another hundred thousand miles I, I i know the engines in here are good and reliable so we've got to we got to match the transmission so it can you know be durable and reliable and, and keeping it cool is one of those things anyways that's why i do it now this here's on the crown vic we got the f-150 super crew over here and this is just like the expedition where they have uh, you can see let me see kind of see in there you got that stacked plate cooler right there that's what that is that's a stacked plate transmission cooler and uh so these have your uh transmission oil cooling lines running into the radiator of the vehicle where they run through like a small uh, 
well, a small little cooler in the radiator. They actually make contact. Well, you know, it's it's sealed, but it makes contact with the the coolant. You know, which is already hot as hell. So you're putting the heat from the transmission oil, you know, into the radiator. And then they have these external coolers. So these ones here, they don't really need an upgrade. They already have them. The Expedition has it too. So these trannies are fine. But on the uh, on the old Crown Vic here, it's only got the one cooler. Now, usually, um, factory automatic uh, transmission oil coolers, they'll just have the little one in the radiator. You'll have the two lines running into the radiator, which cool it you know through liquid to liquid and then back and you know the, these engines they don't run 160 or 180 degrees anymore they've got these things running at certain temperatures so they can meet emissions and you know proper combustion and all this other stuff for the fuel injection to go into you know closed loop and everything to work correctly so uh Well, it, it, at least, you know, on this one, they've, they've, Fords, they've, they've, I don't know if they still do it. I know they're around the 2000-ish, you know, to the mid-2000s on certain vehicles. They, they were totally bypassing uh, the radiator cooler altogether, like you saw on this one earlier, and just, uh, you know, installing a standalone uh, transmission cooler. And there are benefits to that. That's because if the one inside of your radiator fills you know which can happen uh, you can mix coolant and transmission flow together and really doesn't matter too much if you get transmission fluid you know into your vehicles uh, coolant system you can flush all that out you'll be all right but when you get that coolant into your transmission fluid then you got a problem and it's gonna grenade your transmission so I think that's why Ford at least has, has, you know, went away from the internal radiator transmission cooler. Like I say, I don't know if they're still doing it or not. I know certain manufacturers like Nissan and, and a few others have had big class action lawsuits over that over the years. I don't know, you know, what GM's doing or, or Fiat Chrysler or any of the other folks. I don't even know what Ford's doing today. I don't know if they've went back to the integrated radiator cooler or not um, this this is in my opinion a, a better design it's a fill safe you're not ever going to have that problem my only gripe is you know that they could have given you a bigger cooler and instead of it being between the radiator and the AC condenser which the AC condenser generates an enormous amount of heat you know they could have given you a bigger cooler and put it in front of the AC condenser but anyways it works I'm just going to improve on it so this applies to any maker model guys if you've got automatic transmission uh, this will definitely extend the life of your uh, transmission